Hello everyone, now let's talk about remote file inclusion vulnerability. So remote file inclusion vulnerability also referred as RFI. So in remote file inclusion vulnerability, attacker or penetration testers tries to include remote files which are hosted on a different web servers. So these files are specially web shells and if you don't know what is the web shell, so a web shell is a small piece of code which is written in different different programming languages depending upon the web application. So through web shell one can access the remote server. So all we have to do is we just have to include a remote web shell inside the web application which is remote file inclusion variable and once our web shell is included in that web application then we can access its remote server. Now let's see how we can exploit remote file inclusion vulnerability. Now let's have a look at remote file inclusion vulnerability that how it works. So here you can see my notepad files which we have created in the last video while doing local file inclusion vulnerability test. Here, so here are some URLs. So let's analyze them. So here you will see that the page parameter is actually accepting one file which is included in index.php. So the difference between local file inclusion and RFI is that in remote file inclusion what we can do is we can include a file which is hosted on a different server which means the file which are not present on an actual server but it's hosted on some another server. So now what a pen tester or what a hacker can do so they can try to include some kind of web shells to the web applications and if the web application is able to include the web shell inside it then what the pen tester can do he can gain a remote access of that web application. Now in order to test remote file inclusion vulnerability is the first thing is we have to start our OS broken web application where you can see it's up and running. The next thing is we have to start our Kali Linux here you can see my Kali Linux is up and running. Now let's do one thing. First of all, let's just open the Mutriday web application. Let me just open any page. Okay. Now in Kali Linux, there is one directory which stores a web shells. Now let's go to that directory. It's inside USR, then share and web shells. So here you can see that here are different different web shells available in different languages like the web shells written in PHP is present in PHP directory. The website written in Perl is present in Perl directory. But for the time being we are interested in PHP. So let's go to PHP directory, hit ls and you will find a lot of web shells written and are available in PHP. So the most common one is simple backdoor.php, it's a command line shell and php backdoor.php, it's a GUI shell. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm I will run a python simple http server and the port will be 5000. Now what it means actually in python there are pre-built servers or scripts so I am using this script python hyphen m simple http server and I will run this server on port 5000. So what it will do it will actually create a server on this directory php and then I can access this files and try to include in Mutrile web application but for that we also have to know that what is the IP of Kali Linux. So IP is 192.168.0.135. Now let's do one thing let me just hit enter and here you will see that my HTTP server is up and running. Let's go back here and at this after this page parameter now let's try to include web shell remotely by just entering the IP address of Kali Linux. And the port is 5000 
and the shell name is simple backdoor.php hit enter and here you will see that our web shell is up and running so this web shell simple backdoor.php also takes one parameter called as cmd now let's pass this parameter in a url string but here the thing to be noticed is that we have already given one parameter that is page so now here we can't add exclamation sign we have to add and then parameter name because it's a second parameter cmd equals ls and here you will see that we are able to access the remote server by using this web shell now we can execute any command like if you want to check the present working directory so here you can see OWASP Mutilide. So this was the difference between local file inclusion and remote file inclusion vulnerability. That in remote file inclusion we can remotely include any web shell or any script inside a web application. So in this video we have covered that what is RFI vulnerability and how to exploit RFI vulnerability. Thanks for watching this video.